My name is Mukesh Jagga and I am from Venue.Events. Today we are covering the India Soft 2024. I have with me as my guest Mr. Venu Kamal DR, yeah. who is the AVP Head and Marketing for Niche in Software yeah. Private Limited, which is a 26 year old company. So, welcome Mr. Venu Gopal. Thank you so much. I am aware that because we met last year and, and you also had participated here. Yeah. What is the progression you have seen when you started your uh, exhibiting here and any results you found and what are the benefits which have come to you by attending the India Software? Yeah, so Nichin Software Solutions joint venture company based out of Bangalore. We are primarily, uh, primarily catering to the uh, Japan market and the rest of the other area we are working is of course the Indian, Indian region. Indian subcontinent and uh, USA that recently we have started and uh, the other is uh, APAC, APAC region. Right. So we are uh, primarily catering to the Japanese customers and other regions also like uh, Japanese companies based in India and other regions. So this is our basically about the Nichin. So uh, coming back to the India Soft, so we are participating in India Soft this uh, previous last year also we have participated and this year also we are participating. And uh, with the ESC, we have been associated for very long. And last year also, we had a very good uh, footfall. Couple of uh, visitors who visited here and we have they, they heard about us. We have met them in other exhibitions also, like in the Japan the exhibitions. So that given an advantage for us to connect. Right. And from there, we got a very good queries and we got what can I say, the business from the Japanese customers. So that is what I would like to say and uh, yeah, exhibition is doing good. So we have a very good footfall from the morning. Right. So we are very busy. <laughs> okay. So good that I was able to, you were able to give me some time. One question which is curious to me is, yeah. is it easier to work with the Japanese market because of the language reasons or it is because IT, there are translations and other things which is very easy because a lot of viewers might have this curiosity question in them. Yeah. So Japan is one of the very uh, different region wherein language plays very very important yes, role. That's why. What happens is uh, the, in many countries English speaking engineers uh, you we can find easily. However, in Japan it's very difficult. Right. So very few people speak English. So Japanese plays very important role in the communication. Right. Not just in the business communication. It also in the, when it go to the development or technical discussions also. It's a little difficult to crack, so bilingual, so I myself like a, J a Japanese language professional and also my uh, colleague Eshwant is also Japanese uh, language proficiency he is having. So with that advantage, so we can communicate easily and it is not just about the language, it is the culture right. plays a very very important role when it comes to Japanese customers. We need to understand how they are working, what is the culture. So that is one of the very important factor which plays very important role to work with the uh, Japanese customers. Right. Mr. Yeshwan, welcome. Thank you. Since your organization is 26 years old, what are the specific things uh, in the IT software you deal with? Is there any specializations you have in your organization? Uh, yes, specializations when I say, as you said, we have a, a advantage of uh, Japanese speaking skills. Right. And if you ask me now, if we are 200 plus uh, company, 200 plus people company, right. out of which uh, 30 plus uh, people are uh, Japanese. Uh, they are based known. over there only? They are based in Japan, okay. on site. And uh, mo most of them are working since 10 plus years. Okay. Even me and Veno also, we worked there for 10 years, get to know the Japanese culture and then come back here and the people who are started learning Japanese, we need to tell them about how the what are the business practices followed there in Japan. Because right. it is entirely different. Yeah, it's a very different. It's very, it's very un disciplined. unexplored market till, yeah. uh, till date as okay. well. It is not fully expo explored. Mm -hmm. If you mm -hmm. can see the Indian revenue, yeah. I mean, uh, uh, from Japan market, you can, it's already, it's in one digit still. Right. So, the challenge there and the, our expertise is we bring in that 
the we get to know the business practices of japan and then that will that advantage we have here for the local market where when the japanese companies are coming into the local market investing yeah. here right we support they, them they, in yeah, the yeah. startup their startups and you have that head start head start so that in that way i can say that we have that potential uh, there but otherwise it is development and all we do skill up it is not a we cannot say, i don't say that we are core competent in one particular uh, domain or anything we have a domain knowledge as well as the technical expertise as well and plus with the japanese business practice and expertise we we i can say that this is this is how we have sustained in uh, market uh, uh, till now and we are been catering to japanese market continuously my my personal belief is it's a pride to be working with the japanese companies yeah. everybody and anybody cannot just simply walk in and say that okay because there can. is a constant learning yeah. and constant con improvement constant improvement in each of the process and they definitely put in really the nation first yeah uh, right they have their own uh, lot what? of issues come up but then still for them the prime is their nature what you give to the society what you the give first. to the society so that is very important right so in your software basically any specific things you specialize upon in your organization software or it is again tailor based as per the demand of the most guest. of the come what times it is uh, customer based uh, on customer demand we are catering and we are adapting to the technology what they need so it is constant evolution right so it is not that one in one particular domain we are expertise like that mm. see now you can say that offlet there is an erp uh, uh, system and uh, which is called udu so it is uh, picking up in india as well so now what we have done is we have skilled up and we have become partner right with udu. the japanese uh, we have become udu partner and we are able to implement that in the japanese market okay not only indian market we are able to implement in a japanese market so that is one of the areas i can say as a uh, constant evolving and it's not the one a specific thing which i can say yes because that technology technology is continuously yeah evolving upgrading. Yeah. upgrading yeah so we need to upgrade i can say that i am expertise in dot net and i am expertise in java but that doesn't mean that even in dot net as well we we'll have to keep improving every year so we are doing that one yours is the first visit yeah uh, mine is first visit here to the india soft india soft how has been as your experience last year i have just heard about the we get the feedback who are yeah. the people who have visited our visited. company uh, from our company they give us the feedback okay india soft this was the uh, so last year and this year when i compare so this year i think most of uh, the visitors what i have seen was uh, for to our booth is from african countries right and also they are looking into building partnerships as well so yeah. far as african country we have not explored right. as a niche right we have not explored and uh, we look forward to that like how different it might be because we know what our potential we have in this how we our skills can be leveraged in african uh, that is we are excited to do it. so right. and with respect to the prospects what i see is most of the african uh, companies what they have come up they have, uh, they wanted uh, something in erp they want to implement erp so i have and they have heard of the udu i, I just now i mentioned udu uh, software so they want to partner with us and see how we can implement uh, for their internal operations if you can explain more on udo either of you yeah would be good what exactly I'll, does it mean udo? udo see udo is an erp package yeah when i say erp package it is it helps you to do the day to day operation inside your to streamline the day to day operations inside your company say for example starting from crm customer management vendor management right. and he knows uh, hr mm -hmm. accounting sales purchase all, all this things. will be integ Integ integrated in one software okay. so you can use that software to integrate uh, and streamline your process 
company's process. Right. So because now many of the companies are using uh, many softwares inside the company. Say for example, for accounting, many uh, some companies will use Tally, and for human resources, they have some other software, and for sales, they do some other software. So Udo is one software which has all these modules built in. Right. So it is one package where which facilitates your day and streamlines your day-to-day -day operations. So that's good to know. Anything you would like to add, Mr. Venu Gopal? Yeah. So in addition to Udu, so we are also uh, e-factory alliance partner with uh, Mitsubishi Electric. We uh, develop different applications, so industrial IoT related application development to cater to cater auto automotive and other sectors. So that is one more point I just wanted to add. So in addition to that, we have very good team of application development, especially for the web and mobile application. So be it web application development or a native or hybrid web mobile application development, we have a very good team and we are supporting that for our customers. So these are the two points I just wanted to add. Yeah. So that's good that you are seeing the increase and I wish from India Soft 2000, India Soft and from our venue.events channel yeah. that you grow more and we see a bigger exhibition stall which you take up next year. Thank you Mr. Venugopal and Mr. Uh, Yashwan. Sure. In the end, I'd like to say that if you can wish everybody in English and also since you have a good number of staff, employees in Japan, in Japanese also, anything you would like to convey to them in Japanese would be very good. Yeah. Over to both of you. Wish you all a happy new year 2024. So in this year as well, uh, we look forward for your sustained and continuous support and uh, uh, work towards the betterment of the company. Let's work hard together. Yeah, let's work hard together. Yeah. And Nisa Niju Yonen, Kotoshimo, Ichinen no Yoi Toshini Naruyoni, Minna de Gambari Masho. Gambari Masho. Kotoshimo Yoroshiko Negashimas. Kotoshimo Yoroshiko Negashimas. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you,